Okay, solve the linear equation. All right, we have some students online. Sunit, can you tell me uh, what would be the first step here? To get uh, try to get a number on both sides and try to get a number on one side. Okay, when you have equation involving fraction, how can I how can I eliminate the fraction? Find the L C D. Hmm. Okay, find the L C D or L C M. Now, what is the LCD here among all of them? Twenty-four. Okay, so the LCD between four, two, and three, that's what you're looking at, right? Remember to find the LCD, you break the numbers into its prime numbers, right? So in this case, uh, we want to know how many twos and threes. We have four consists of two twos, right? This would be 1, 2, and 1, 3. You would compare the groups of prime numbers, and you pick the largest of all, right? You have two twos here, one two here. Which one are you going to pick? Two. Two twos, right? Here you have one, three. No three, you're going to pick three. So it would be four times three. Do you see how to find the LCD then? Yes. Okay, make sure to review that. You need to know how to find the LCD between two or more numbers. So just simply break it down to its prime numbers, and then you compare the groups of prime numbers, and you pick the largest of all. You have two twos, one two, you pick two two. Here you have one three, no three, so you pick one three, and the product of those would be your LCD. So the next step is to multiply each term by this LCD that we find. That we find. So it would be four terms here that we need to multiply each of these by LCD. And the reason we're doing this is to eliminate the fraction. So the first term we have 12 over 1 times x over 4, 12 over 1 times 2 over 1 equal to LCD times the next term x over 2 plus and finally multiply the LCD by the last term. By doing that you can Eliminate the fraction. So, what do we get uh, for the first term, Sunit? 12 over 1 times 2 over 1. Okay, 4 will get 3x. Right, so you get uh, 12 divided by 4 would be 3, so it would be 3x. The next term would be what? 12. We have 2 here, too, right? 24, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 24. And the next term we reduce, what do we get? 6x. Mm -hmm. And finally, the last term we get what? 4. Four. So take a look at this. This equation here is equivalent to this equation here. Same equation, except one would be a lot simpler to solve for x. It's a linear equation, the other one is a fraction. So to eliminate the fraction, right away to multiply each term by LCD, and then from there it would be pretty simple. You subtract uh, 3x from both sides of the equation. So we get 24 is equal to 3x plus 4. And then I can subtract 4. On the left hand side I get 20 is equal to 3x. So Sunny, what is x is equal to? Two. 
20 over 3. Very good. 20 over 3. That's how you solve the equation involving fractions.